Last week, McDonald's released a Game Boy Color game in 2023, which is totally surprising and super weird to me. However, we're gonna talk about the game itself, how to get the game, how to play the game, and whether or not you should play it in this video. Grimace is the McDonald's character that's purple. You've probably seen him before, and it just so happens to be his 52nd birthday, which obviously means they should make a Game Boy Color game for it, right? Yeah, I don't know why they did this either. However, it actually looks pretty good, and it's actually really accessible to you. If you haven't played it before, you definitely might want to pick it up because it's a ton of fun. But I'm not quite sure why McDonald's did this. McDonald's hasn't done anything like this in the recent past and I just kind of don't understand it. I know it's probably great for McDonald's because it's a big headline, everyone's talking about it, but why actually do it? The ROM is actually a playable Game Boy Color game that you can get and we're about to talk about how I've been playing it. It's actually really awesome and it involves my Logitech G Cloud gaming handheld device, which is actually pretty awesome because it's just an Android running tablet with controllers attached to it, basically. So I'm gonna show you how I set it up on my Logitech G Cloud, but you can also set this up on any Android or anything that plays ROMs just like this. Now, first thing that I did was go ahead and go to the Google Play Store where I pulled it up and I looked through a bunch of different little emulators and ROM runners and whatnot, but I ended up settling on one called Fullroid or it's called One Emulator for Game Consoles Now. I think they've renamed it recently. I've had it on here for a while, but it made it really simple to get the game, to download it on here and get to playing just like that. So if you're gonna pick this up, maybe play this one because that's the emulator that I used, but that's just the first part of it. You gotta be able to actually play the game, but now you actually have to find the game. So what I did was literally pulled up Google and typed in McDonald's Game Boy Color game. And then I found a few articles about it. And this IGN one that I ended up finding had a link to the ROM itself which is actually pretty awesome because of how easy it is to get this game. And I think that really makes this well worth it for you. You're not spending any money to play it. It's literally out there for free and you can play it really easy. So after you download it, it'll take a few minutes. You're gonna go ahead and open up your emulator and then navigate to where it is and either put it in the right folder or download it or whatever your emulator does, that's how you do it. And then you're just gonna click open it and run it. It's actually a pretty good looking game. The graphics are obviously Game Boy Color games, but playing it on this screen makes it absolutely amazing. It looks really good, and I think it's definitely well worth at least trying. This thing just looks great. The color palette pops with that purple and green and orange kind of obviously grimace colors, but it's actually even better than that. It's almost like this is a skateboarding game. Basically, Grimace's friends go missing, and you have to collect Grimace milkshakes, which are the new thing that McDonald's just happened to have launched for Grimace's birthday. Yeah, it kind of ties in all that marketing right there. And you basically want to avoid the trash cans, and you can grind your way through levels, which is pretty cool. The controls are pretty basic, but it is a pretty basic game. You're just trying to platform to the end of the level, where you will either try to collect Grimace milkshakes or try to avoid little McDonald's trash cans. If you hit the McDonald's trash can, you fall, but if you get all of the Grimace milkshakes, you actually get points, and it's a pretty fun little game. There's nothing too crazy about this game. It is, like I said, a free ROM game, so it's not over the top crazy. The music is pretty upbeat. There's even like the McDonald's theme song going on at some point, which is pretty cool in the kind of 16 8 bit era of music, uh, whatever you want to call it. It sounds really awesome. And it's pretty easy to go. You load it up, get to playing. It's a pretty short game. Maybe it's gonna take you like 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, but it's definitely well worth playing and it's a ton of fun. If you've got a handheld like this that plays ROMs, load it up there, 
give it a try. If you don't have a handheld like this, but you've got an Android phone, try that as well. Get that emulator and that ROM and get to playing. It's definitely well worth your time. It's not too hard. It's very uh, enjoyable and it's a little weird, a little wacky, but I think this is a really good marketing ploy for McDonald's to do because everyone's talking about this and the Grimace shakes, of course, but they didn't really have to do much. Obviously, they have to make the game, but after that, news articles and uh, people are playing about it, playing it, talking about it, and all that stuff. So if you're interested in playing this, go ahead and check it out. I will try to link the IGN article down below so you can go find the game however you choose. I don't know if it's illegal or not, to be honest. It looked like it was free, so I'm running with that aspect, but if it is illegal to download that ROM, you didn't see it for me, and uh, if you're watching this thinking I downloaded it illegally, um, I think you've got the wrong person. But enough about that. I'm gonna get back to playing this because it's actually a ton of fun, so go ahead and check that video out if you haven't already. But I'm shocked that this is a Game Boy game in 2023 and it's actually a ton of fun but i'm gonna get out of here check that out if you haven't